here this morning to worship the Lord. Part of our worship of Tim is to welcome Tim and Angie as communicant members of the congregation. When one makes a public profession of faith, if one has not been baptized, then indeed in obedience to the Lord, they present themselves for baptism. Baptism is a sacrament wherein the washing with water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, doth signify and seal our ingrafting into Christ, and partaking of the benefits of the covenant of grace, and our engagement to be the Lord. <coughs> this morning I'll have uh, Tim and Angie come forward, and they will affirm the covenant of community membership, and then we will baptize them and welcome them as a congregation. <coughs> We believe the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God, the only infallible rule for faith and life. We believe in the one living and true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as revealed in the scriptures. You repent of your sins, confess your guilt and helplessness as a sinner against God, Profess Jesus Christ, Son of God, as your Savior and Lord, and dedicate yourself to His service. You promise that you will endeavor to forsake all sins and to conform your life to His teaching and example. You promise to submit to the Lord to the teaching and government of this church as being based upon the Scriptures and described in substance in the Constitution of the Reformed Presbyterian Church of North America. You recognize your responsibility to work with others in the church. And you promise to support and encourage them in their service to the Lord. In case you should need correction and doctrine or life, you promise to respect the authority and discipline of the church. To the end that you may grow in the Christian life, you promise that you will diligently read the Bible, engage in private prayer, keep the Lord's day, regularly attend the worship services, Serve the appointed sacraments, and give to the Lord's work as he shall prosper. <coughs> you purpose to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness in all the relationships of life, faithfully to perform your whole duty as a true servant of Jesus Christ, and seek to win others today. You make this profession of faith and purpose in the presence of God and humble reliance upon His grace as you desire to give your account with joy at the last great day. Having heard their profession of faith, we now will proceed to baptize them. So let's look to the Lord together in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the evidence of your grace in the life of Tim. Thank you for their profession, recognizing themselves to be sinners, and so signifying repenting of their sins, confessing their guilt and helplessness as sinners against you, and clinging to Jesus Christ, whom alone is their salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for making yourself alive and well in each of them. By the grace of God, we pray that you would continue to conform each of these your children more and more into your own image. We pray now that you would be pleased, bless so much, the element of water shall be used upon this occasion. We hereby, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, set apart from a common to the sacramental use. Now, Timothy, James, and our baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you, Angela, John, and our baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One God, over all, blessed forever.
Now do you, the members of this congregation, receive Tim and Angie into your fellowship and promise to pray with and for them as they grow in the Christian life? If so, say, we do. We do.